Greetings Wargamers, YouTubers, fellow hobbyists and welcome to another episode of Pete's Thoughts On. Now today I would like to touch upon something I've, I've thought about before but it wasn't until I saw a comment um, by one of my subscribers on um, one, of, one of his own videos actually. And I want to touch upon guilt. So it's Pete's thoughts on guilt. Now, when I say guilt, guilt over playing a certain army or a certain faction depends on your war game. Now, when it's a fantasy based game such as Warhammer, you don't tend to get it so much. Um, although I know that there are people out there who feel uncomfortable about building certain armies, um, like demons or uh, dark Eldar, for instance. Um, but that said, I mean, I'm, I know with a lot of it, there's going to be a lot of people going, ah, oh, you know, what the heck, it's only a game and, you know, it doesn't matter and, and I don't, and I don't give a stuff, you know, but if you're, if you're playing a game such as Flames of War or Bolt Action or something along those lines and you're fielding, say, Germans, do you not feel just a teeny bit of guilt? Or a little bit of... Oh, I'm not sure. Because you get that feeling of... I'm not sure I should be doing this. I know it's just a game and I know we're playing with toy soldiers and... Um, but it doesn't feel... I don't know. There's something there. It's just like a, a little niggly spot in there. And I think that's fine. And my view on this is... Um, like I say, I know there's people out like there who don't care either way and that's fine but, but my take on this is I mean let, let me go back to my childhood um, I'm, I'm talking five-year-old to starting school time and um, playing toy soldiers um, and my cousin my cousin Martin my older cousin he gave me a big jar full of these little plastic soldiers that he'd been collecting from cereal packets I have no idea what make or brand or even what year, it might have been before I was born, I don't know. But um, there was loads of them in there and there was a load of Germans in the in the grey, dark blue, dark blue grey, and there was like Americans in kind of, um, I don't know, they were kind of like a, like a jaundice colour I suppose, and there was British, uh, brown, and there, there was all different ones, Polish, they're just basically one colour, little tiny miniatures, I don't know, I'm guessing about six millimetre high, and I, I used to play with those, like line them up, the Germans and the Americans and the British, and we'd just fire at each other, like pow pow pow, you know, and that's fine. Later on, when I got older, um, I got friendly with a, with a boy in primary school, and, and he had a fantastic collection of toy soldiers, he had loads and loads of Germans, and Little, uh, I don't know if you remember, they, they came on little metal bases and they were all like um, put together and you didn't, have to, you didn't have to assemble them or paint them, they were already painted, just basically out of the box, ready to go. And he had all these soldiers, these Germans and tanks and guns and goodness knows what else and um, uh, he, he had a few uh, of other countries as well and I, I started collecting American ones because I, I kind of like, just like the way they looked, I had like a, I don't know, a Jeep or something. Um, but it paled in comparison to his. But what I'm saying is, we used to play toy soldiers all the time. Um, just because we're older now, I, I, I mean, I know, I know there's some people out there that um, don't like the idea of putting swastikas on their tanks and things, even in 40k. But because people associate that with the Nazis and. When you actually start researching it, it's nothing to do with them, really. It goes back to at least 3000 BC, that symbol, the swastika. Um, I'm no expert, but I think it was a symbol of good luck or something. It's a very sacred symbol. Um, used in like Hinduism and Buddhism and various other uh, religions all around the world. Um, that symbol has travelled the globe. Um, 
you can see a I googled it and there's a picture of a swastika on the back of a Greek coin dated 3000 BC and you know there should be no you shouldn't feel any shame or guilt in it really I suppose what it comes down to is the type of person you are not the type of army or faction you're fielding are you the type of person that delights in saying yes I, I'm a Nazi I want to be a Nazi I'm I'm playing the Germans and I want to be like them it's not like you're glorifying them in any way is it you just think hey they look like a cool army and uh, we'll see if we can um, rewrite history in game terms you know is it possible could they have won yeah, it's interesting you know could they have won the war I don't know it's in all sorts of possibilities but like I say when it, when it comes to fantasy games like Warhammer then yeah I understand there's people that don't feel comfy um, fielding certain armies and you know that's their prerogative and, and that's fine just just play with what you're happy um, using really and everything's good there's always going to be someone out there that wants to play something different to you and um, that's that's my thoughts on this I, I think it's okay it, it, at the end of the day it's just a game and um, but I'm not one of these people going ah it's just a game of stuff you know I can do what I want no one can tell me what what I can and can't do I understand why people have a certain feeling of uncomfortableness about certain things and that's fine and I'm surrounded by surrounded by chaos literally um, but I, I I mean I don't have anything I'm uncomfortable with I've got to be honest um, taking going back to the game bolt action the military historical military World War two game would I be uncomfortable feeling Germans I don't know I'm not in that position yet it's possible I could be I don't know um, would I be uncomfortable feeling Dark Eldar in Warhammer 40k? No, I know I wouldn't, because it's fantasy. To me, I can make that distinction. Um, the only difference with that and the historical stuff is the fact that it, 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 it's based on events and are created from events that did happen. So I suppose that's why. But there's a lot of positives to it. It will enable me to dig deep into the history and finding out about my history um, and about the tanks and the armies and uh, the areas, the places they went to and I, I think that's a good thing, you know, and um, yeah, so that's my take on it, what do you guys think, um, is there any anything, any army out there at all you feel just a little bit of guilt over fielding, I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, we're all gamers, we're all, we're all uh, in it together, so uh, yeah, got to have fun, that's what you got to do. At the end of the day, it's all about having fun. If fielding a German army or a Dark Elder army is fun for you, then that's all that matters. It's a game, a game is fun. So, on that note... Go forth and have fun. Till next time, people. Happy Wargaming.